Hello and welcome to MEN. I'm Anjali Agarwal and today we are here to discuss an important issue on the microfinance industry. Microfinance industry crippled two years back following a state law. What happened to the millions of borrowers? To discuss the issue, we have Dinesh Shuni Krishan with us. Hello Dinesh, welcome to the show. So what happened to the millions of borrowers who borrowed money from the microfinance institutions two years back? Thanks, Anjali. Uh, as you mentioned, uh, it's been two years since uh, the entire sector has uh, plunged to a major crisis. And if you look today, we can see those many, many borrowers, you know, for whom the only uh, I mean source of funds were these microfinance institutions are now back with money lenders, back in the hands of private money lenders who charge anywhere between 3 to 6 percent per month. That is on an annual basis it will work out to 40 to even 60 or above uh, percentage. Now, uh, the situation is that the formal uh, funding system to this category of borrowers has vanished. It doesn't function anymore. MFIs used to uh, serve a, a special category of uh, borrowers who, you know, uh, never used to get funding from commercial banks or any other sources. So that uh, that segment is suffering now because of this uh, crisis. So what is the current scenario in the microfinance industry? If you look at uh, in the last two years, uh, both the Reserve Bank of India and the government, they are talking about new regulations to govern the sector. In fact, RBA has already come with a set of rules to you know, regulate NBFC MFIs who control majority of the uh, industry, microfinance sector. Also, on the other side, government is uh, now, you know, uh, in the process of uh, coming with a national regulation to govern the entire microfinance sector. So, if you look at the industry, uh, like I said, a class of people who do not have any other option but to go back to the money lenders who are actually using this opportunity to charge very high rates. And uh, many, uh, the situation is so bad that some of these borrowers do not have any means to pay back. So some of them are working uh, in the farms of these uh, money lenders for no wages. Some others are, you know, uh, again borrowing from some other people to repay an old loan, which is what we call evergreening. Uh, we can see a total disruption of this credit delivery mechanism in the uh, bottom of the pyramid, so to say, the lower, you know, low income class. So, uh, like I said, RBI has come with regulation which has given some confidence to banks to come back to this space and uh, resume lending to MFIs. And once this national regulation also, uh, which is uh, on the anvil now, uh, comes, happens, uh, that can give a lot more clarity and MFIs can hopefully uh, start functioning once again in the space. So like you mentioned that yes. borrowers have to borrow from money lenders at high interest rates. So uh, that's difficult for the borrowers because they are already cash deprived. So how, what do you see, like what's the future of this industry? Uh, for the industry, uh, there is a huge market. Uh, we all know that only 50 percentage of Indian citizens have access to formal banking system, which means the other half is still left out from the formal sources they still depend upon uh, private people, institutions. This market has a future, microfinance sector which is 16 year old in India is still its, uh, I mean, uh, its infant stage I would say, has a lot to grow to spread to inner areas where still there are no bank branches, uh, no means to get formal for finance. The only thing is that uh, the industry need more clarity and assurance from the regulator and the government that things will be fine, which will give confidence to the commercial banks to resume lending to microfinance institutions. Again, this will help other uh, parallel initiatives like self-help groups, which, is, which are groups of uh, six to seven uh, you know, housewives, normally which are very vibrant in uh, rural India. So the uh, uh, revival of the microfinance industry is critical for those people, you know, uh, uh, so that they can s gradually come to this formal banking system. Thank you for the insight, Dinesh. So let us wait and watch how this microfinance industry will evolve from now on. For more updates, log on to liveman.com.